All right, so I have a question here about uh, greatest common divisors, so GCDs. So uh, I'm given A, B, and M are positive integers. I want to show that the greatest common divisor of A plus M, B, and B is equal to the greatest common divisor of A and B. And let me just, I, I'm going to use the following definition of GCD. Recall uh, the greatest common divisor of A and B, I'm going to call this uh, D is a number such that if I have some number, let's call L, which divides A and L divides B, then L has to divide the greatest common divisor D. So uh, the way I'm going to do this is as follows. I, I'm going to say, okay, let the GCD of A and B equal D. So it's the greatest common divisor. So uh, step one is to show that it is a common divisor. So uh, D is a common divisor of A plus B, M, and B. Uh, this is because uh, since since D divides A and D divides B, I have that I can write A is equal to D uh, M and or maybe I'll call D K and B is equal to D times L. So uh, I have that B divides D divides B, D divides A plus B M, well, A plus B M is equal to D K plus uh, D L M, which is D K plus L M. So our common divisor D, D d does divide this sum. So check. So we have that the GCD of A and B is a common divisor of B and A plus BM. So now we want to show that any other, uh, if I have a common divisor of A and B, it has to divide L, or it has to divide the greatest common divisor. Let, um, what's a good, let N divide A and N divide B, uh, or it shouldn't be A here, it should be uh, A plus uh, BM. That's what I want to show. I now have a common divisor of these two. I now want to show that N divides uh, D. Well, how can I do this? Well, since since n divides b, I'm going to say uh, b is now nk, and a plus bm is n times l. And what you can do is you, you can then say, well, a minus BM is equal to an L minus or A A is equal to A plus BM minus BM so that's an L minus BM which is NKM and this is uh, N times L minus KM right so the idea now is we have shown that N divides A. So uh, N must divide D because D is the GCD of A and B. So we know G is the GCD of A and B. We said, well, if we have that n divides both of them, we can write b and a plus bm as this, then we can subtract bm, which is this from here, factor out the n, get that n has to divide a, and since n divides a and n divides b, it has to divide the gcd, and we are done. Alright, thanks for watching.